Hey, Mike here with uh, East Coast Lumen Outpost and doing a video today on pen lights. Pen lights were really what got me into collecting flashlights. Uh, there's just something about a tiny little uh, pen light that could put out some light fit in your shirt pocket. I really liked it, especially being a technician working on cars. I really liked these pen lights. Uh, so right now I got quite an assortment. Up top here we kind of got like the A and S tier pen lights, maybe a couple B tier. Down bottom we got the C, D, and E tier, kind of the, the keep away, except for a couple exceptions down bottom. Uh, so first I'm going to run you through... Uh, the ones that are on the bottom row here. And these are ones not necessarily to steer clear of, uh, but ones that just don't really impress. Uh, and also, there are some in here to steer clear of. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, from right to left. First one, we got a... Uh, it runs two AAAs. It's LED Lenser and... This is just an old pen light. I doubt you could even find this any longer. It's not rechargeable, uh, but back in the day, this is probably 12 or 13 years ago when this came out, it was my favorite. Uh, it has that beam where uh, it'll make a really wide circular beam. You could focus it uh, or you can condense it down into like a hot spot. And uh, it's pretty nice. You know, easy to use, just one function on and off. Uh, so, there's the first one. Next one, this is called the Coast A9R. This is a really nice form factor. It's real thin, fits in your shirt pocket, looks real sleek. But the, the stupid thing with this light, that uh, this makes it so that I do not recommend it. It uses a propri proprietary battery charger, but also a proprietary battery. So if the battery dies on this and you can't charge it up anymore, it's done. You got to either buy a new battery, which is hard to get, or get a whole new light. It, it just, it makes it pointless to me. Uh, you know, it, it probably, this thing probably worked good for a year and then it, it just stopped holding a charge and, and I haven't used it since. Next one, this is called the Illuminator. Uh, you know, pretty bright. I think it's probably 180 lumen. Uh, and this is just a real standard, you know, double, triple A pen light. Nothing special. The next one is a company, uh, Nebo. I've had a couple Nebo lights. And, and some of their stuff is nice. But I, I would recommend steering clear of their pen lights. I've had a couple of their just traditional like pen lights. I've actually had a couple of their flashlights and every single Nebo I've ever owned has worked well for a little bit and then the switch gets buggy and, and doesn't work unless you hit it. You got to whack it a couple times and then it'll start working again. So Nebo uh, have some cool designs, need some quality control, would not recommend. This next one, this company is Easy Red. You could find this on like tool trucks, and I really like this light. It was pretty bright. It was probably 250 lumen, rechargeable, just cool design, shirt pocket. Stopped working after you know, six months. Uh, so I would not recommend the Easy Red uh, or any of the subsidiaries that use this exact design here. Um, it wound up being a solder point inside of here, just a, a you know a pain to get in there and fix. Uh, I would just rather just not use it anymore. So don't recommend the Easy Red. Next one, Nightcore. This is like Nightcore's known pen light. Um, I'm not sure the name of it, but it, it's it's really the only like uh, double triple A pen light that they make, uh, and it, it's nice, but it's also just nothing special. You know, it, it's. Probably 150 lumens, you know, takes two AAA batteries. Uh, really nothing special. Uh, if you like Nightcore, you want to, you know, need something else for the collection, this is a good one, but it's just not flashy at all. Lumen Top. 
this is their titanium pen light and I really like it, but it's just similar to the Nikkor. It's nothing special. Uh, so very, you know, well-rounded, uh, titanium, nice material. Uh, would recommend it, you know, maybe for like a work light because it's pretty heavy duty. Uh, but again, it's just, it's nothing super special. This is the next torch. And this is, this was like one of the first real bright, pen lights um i really like this and i used it for a long time at work um and then it just got outclassed uh but you know nowadays it's not anything special but back in the day when this came out it it was super special when this next torch k3 came out i believe now there's a rechargeable version of this and i would recommend that one um but the original one uh the only reason I wouldn't recommend it is because there's so much other ones. Uh, but th this is still really nice. And it still works. And I I've had this for a real long time. This company is Ravivan. And this is a, a rechargeable pen light that they make. And I really like it except for the user interface. When I grab a pen light, I want to hit the button and turn it on. But for whatever reason, with this flashlight you got to grab it and double click the button to turn it on and then you want to i just want to click it once to turn it off but with this you click it once and it changes modes so you think to double click it but no that doesn't work you got to hold it down to turn it off so this would be like a a tier flashlight it's small it's rechargeable uh, but the user interface on this, it sucks so bad that it gets dropped down into the lower pile. So, nice one for the collection. Wouldn't recommend for work. This flashlight was my daily driver for a long time. It actually takes three AAAs. Uh, it lasts a long time. It has just one setting, so you don't have to switch through a bunch of settings to get to the highest mode. Uh, real wide beam. This company is is real nice for their pen lights. It's Maxion Windstar 320. I would still be using this as, if this did not get outclassed. Uh, but yeah, look up this company, Maxion. This was like my original pen light daily driver, uh, Blue Point. Uh, the original company that made this was a company called Sunlight, uh, and Blue Point just put their name on it to sell it. And this flashlight is just pretty cool. It uses like the tiniest little LED chip. Uh, it doesn't have a glass reflector. It's like a, a milled aluminum reflector. Uh, to me, that's like pretty heavy duty. Um, and it, it's just super bright. And it's just on and off, one button on, one button off. It's probably only 150 lumens, but this probably came out like seven or eight years ago. Uh, and it stood the test of time. I used it for a long, long time. Um, so I, I really like this one uh, just because of the simplicity of it. This is another one that also takes three AAAs. So it has a little bit of extended battery life. Um I really like this one. I don't know if you could get this anymore, uh, but if you can, this would be a good one to add to the collection or even a good one to use at work. Next one is, uh, this is the Coast HP3R. Uh, this was another one of my daily drivers. I used this one, you know, specifically uh, for a long time at work. Real nice, it's rechargeable. Uh, this twists up. I might be stuck right now, but there it goes. Yeah, rechargeable mini USB. Um, I think this went 245 lumens, uh, and then it has the focusable beam. I always leave it on the, the widest beam pattern so you get max coverage. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was a nice one. Uh, the battery, the rechargeable battery in this probably lasted two and a half years, and now this won't hold a charge at all. Uh, and it's been outclassed, uh, you'll see above. So now we're going to go up to the top row. Uh, these are just the really nice 
heavy hitters, the ones I really like. Uh, the first one that's up is the Streamlight COB. Now, this is not like a traditional uh, point and shoot pen light. This is a rechargeable COB pen light. So, this gives you that real wide beam, almost like a floodlight. And I, you know, I really like it. I think it's cool. Um, this is a good one to keep in the pocket, but, uh, you know, it might not suit your needs because it's not the point and shoot. Uh, but just for the uniqueness of this one, uh, I, I really like it. This is the Streamlight Stylus Pro COB. It also has a magnet at the bottom. Next up, this is the Ace Beam PT10GT. Uh, this one just is awesome. It looks awesome, feels awesome, has a, uh, you know a rechargeable battery inside which is awesome uh it uses uh ace beams uh look they usually go for that like industrial metal with the copper um and it's super bright runs a samsung bulb uh and it puts out 400 lumen which for a little pen light is like super bright it's up there um the one problem with this ace beam the reason this is not my daily driver is because it, it doesn't start off in the brightest mode and it doesn't have memory which is a fatal flaw for this flashlight if this flashlight could just automatically turn on in just the highest 400 lumen it would be my daily driver uh, most of the time if i'm using a pen light they're not super bright to begin with i want the brightest um the fatal flaw of this is it automatically starts off in the middle. And because of that, I don't use it. It's still really nice, though. Next up, this is the new Maxim Maxion uh, line of uh, flashlights. Uh, this company, uh, as you'll see coming up... Uh, this is my daily driver. This is the Maxion Workstar 364. It's a rechargeable pen light. Unscrew here, plug it in, charge it up. One button, one mode interface. This one is the UV version. Uh, you can zoom in and out on the beam pattern. There's no high, medium, low. It's just on or off. And... It's gone through hell. You know, I've beaten these up. This is my all day, every day pen light. This is what I keep in my shirt pocket. This is the Phoenix LD05. I love this thing. It's just the classiest that I own. Uh, it runs a real warm tinted LED bulb. Uh, and it also runs a UV light. Uh, if this were brighter, this would probably be my everyday. Um, but it's not super bright. Um, and the UV isn't super bright either. Uh, but it makes up for it with just the design language, the classiness. Uh, Phoenix also always nails it with everything that they make. Uh, they're one of the top companies. Uh, I really like this LD05. Um, if you were like, I, this sounds stupid, but if you were like an executive and you needed a pen light, this is what you would keep in like your suit pocket, this Phoenix. All right. We're coming up on one of my other daily drivers, the new coast HP three R. Uh, so this newer version, uh, has a couple things above the old version. One it's USB C rechargeable now takes a real quick charge the other thing is it got a real big boost in brightness uh it went from i think it was like 240 or 250 up to uh i think this is 385 and the nice thing about it is you turn it on and it, it goes straight to the highest mode uh it also comes with like this bite grip right here which is cool um, sometimes I'll 
uh, you put a flashlight in your mouth. Uh, so you could use both of your hands. And this uh, new coast came with these little grips that you could put on the end so that you could bite down on it. It's just soft rubber. Um, and I use this, you know, a couple times a week, this coast, coast light. Next one up, cool factor alone. Not practical at all, not for me, uh, but the Olight O-Pen. Uh, this is the O-Pen 2, I believe. Uh, super cool. The little light right there gets reasonably bright. It's also a bolt-action pen, and it's also a laser pointer. Not practical, never used it at work. Looks awesome. I love this thing. It's just a cool little fidget gadget. One of my favorites. This is the 4.7's Prion. Uh, third version. Uh, right now I got a rechargeable. Uh, it's a double AAA battery in here that's rechargeable. Uh, it makes this thing even brighter than it is. Uh, I think it is, uh, I'm not sure, XML, I think it's an XML LED that's in there, XML T6. Uh, if I had to guess with that uh, 3.7 volt battery that I run in this, uh, it's probably around 400 lumens. And the cool thing with 4.7s uh, with this particular pen light is it's like user programmable. So uh, you could go into like a secret menu and kind of fine tune how you want the interface. I have it set up so it's just full blast on and then off. There isn't any other modes, only full blast. The Falamov pen light, uh, tiny. If you could find this, get it. It's cheap and it's awesome. It is uh, rechargeable, which is really nice. It has tactical mode, which means uh, if you hold the button down and then release it and it shuts off, so you could just thumb it like that. Uh, it also has, you just click it real quick once and it automatically goes into the highest mode, which I really like. This also has a kind of secret menu that you could fine tune the settings. Uh, really nice, if you could find this, it's hard to find right now, Highly recommend this Falamov pen light. This is the original Olight O pen. Awesome. Uh, this was my daily driver forever. It c almost looks like a pen. It's pretty classy, uh, pretty bright. I think it's around 200 lumens. Uh, and man, I really loved this light. Uh, it just got older. Um, and I wanted to like retire, if that makes sense. Uh, but this is one of my favorites. Uh, the classiness factor, just how it looks, uh, was why it made it into my shirt pocket for so long. Really like this uh, Prion uh, pen light. This is a company called Innova. This is also the pen light that Snap-on sells. It's like their Snap-on branded pen light, but it's really this Innova brand pen light. Uh, this is also a really small little pen light. It uses two double or two triple A's. Uh, it's pretty bright, uh, around I think it's 210 lumens, um, and it, I just I like how all of these Innova lights are built. Basically, the way that their UI works is it's a manual switch. So you screw this down and it will complete the connection. Or you could leave it just a little bit unscrewed and you could press this button for momentary on and off. Um, I would not buy the Snap-on one for 50 or 60 bucks. I would get on Amazon or eBay and get the Innova brand one for 20 bucks and... If you could get this for 20 bucks, it's worth it all day, every day. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It was one of my daily drivers. Uh, yeah, get this pen light. It, it's really nice. 
just built really well. Uh, you'll really like it. We have the limited edition Olight pen light. Uh, this one just came out recently. And it has just a really cool bamboo finish. It's super heavy. It's made out of copper. I would never use this at work. I would probably never put it in my shirt pocket. Uh, but this is just a cool piece to add the, to the collection. We got like a low and a high. And it it's just built real classy. Uh, even when it lights up to the high mode, it does it real like slowly. Um, again, this is not one to keep in your shirt pocket. Uh, this is one to just add to your collection because it looks so cool. The next two are a couple super custom pen lights. Uh, this company, it's ran by a small team of people. It's called Peak LED Solutions. They recently just really helped me out uh, with something I needed help with, with one of their lights. Um, if you could find a peak LED solutions light, uh, this is their triple a version and it's just awesome. I really love it. Uh, I run a 14 500 in here and the way these lights work is they are infinitely variable. So you could s screw the head down and the tighter you screw it, the brighter it'll get. You could very slowly dim it. But they also have a customized option where you could put a momentary switch on the back. So that's what I have on both of these here. So if you push just a little bit, it'll come on just a little bit. And if you push real hard, it'll come on real high. Uh, these are just cool, uh, super, super cool. Uh, I like playing with these. I like switching the parts around between the uh, different ones that I have. Um, yeah, Peak LED Solutions. This is the one that I'll bring to work every once in a while. Uh, I actually stole the, uh, the clip off of my Olight because it fit on here perfectly. Um, but yeah, I, I love this thing. Uh, this has a, a custom thrower on it. Uh, runs 14500, super bright, uh, long throw, tiny, momentary switch. Uh, sometimes I'll put this in the shirt pocket in the morning and bring it to work and use it. Um, but yeah, awesome addition to the collection. This is the Streamlight Wedge. Uh, this is like, I guess I'm going to consider it a pen light, although I don't keep this in my shirt pocket. I usually keep this in my pants pocket. I keep this in one pant pocket and my knife in my other pant pocket. Uh, and this thing is just cool. Um, it's USB-C rechargeable and the switch is right here. So you turn it on once, you got 300 lumens. If you hold it forward, you get a thousand. And the 300 lumen setting will last several days, which is nice. Um, and it's made in such a way that once you reach in your pocket to pull this out, your thumb automatically goes right here where the switch is. So it's real easy to turn on and off. Uh, this is a daily driver for me. Uh, I keep this in my pocket uh, every single day. This goes in my pant pocket. The next daily driver for me, this is my all day, every day shirt pocket pen light. This is the uh, newest version of the Maxion Workstar, the 30, uh, 360, and it's just awesome. Rechargeable, battery lasts at least all day, sometimes two or three days. Super bright, super wide flood beam. You can do the zoom in and out if you want, but I, I just leave it how it is. Uh, it's uh, USB mini rechargeable. And this lives in my shirt pocket. This is my pen light. Out of all the pen lights that I own, this is the one that I choose to use every day at work. Uh, I've dropped it, ran it over, put it through hell. Uh, this is the one to get. You can get it on Amazon. 
it's the best of the best. All right, next up, we got some special lights, uh, some uh, special ones I'm going to throw in here. This is the four sevens bolt light. Uh, this doesn't take two triple A's. Uh, I actually have this one customized by Sky Lumen. Uh, I got this uh, with a custom SST40 LED. Uh, it runs at about 8,000 Kelvin, so it's real clear white. Uh, and uh, this is like the four sevens collab with Fellholter. Um, four sevens. I forget the other company. But yeah, I love this thing. So this runs a single 14500 now. Uh, when this was stock, it ran two CR2s, which are weird little batteries. But I had this customized to run a single 14500. Uh, with uh, Sky Lumen's uh, firmware, like their custom software that they put in the lights. Uh, so it's, you know, super customizable. Uh, you have a secret menu, menu that you go into and you could kind of just customize however you want. Uh, it's the SST40 LED that's in there. Uh, this thing probably puts out about 2,000 lumens. Uh, it's super, super bright. And the bolt action is just nice. Believe it or not, this was my daily driver for a while. Just because it was so cool. And it, it's, it was actually easy to pull out of the shirt pocket. And just do that for like a momentary on. Or click it over to turn it all the way on. This is one of my favorite lights that I own. Is this one right here. A couple other cool ones. This is the Bushnell Pro pen light. Uh, the Bushnell Pro has, there's like four or five different lights. And if you could find them, they're awesome. I would highly recommend them. They all look like this. Uh, they're not comfortable to hold. They have like spikes all over them. But they're just cool. And they're built really solid. Uh, this one's nice. Uh, nothing super special, but... You know, it's pretty bright. Uh, I really like the styling on this. It almost looks like a lightsaber. Uh, so here's the Bushnell. Here's a couple little tiny, tiny little pen lights for comparison. Let me let you take a look. These run some really weird batteries. The batteries these run, I think, are made for fishing lures. These are kind of just twist on, twist off. And these are just fun. They're, you know, they're fun little lights. I think these are made for uh, inspecting the bores of, a, of rifles. Uh, like if you're cleaning a rifle and you want to look down the bore of the gun, I think this is what they're made for. Uh, but uh, Coast makes these, uh, the company Coast. Uh, and they're just fun little lights. And then the last one up, this is called the Gecko. Uh, it's made by Wubin. Uh, this is a light that I would recommend. Uh, the package that it comes in is exquisite. Uh, everything about the unboxing experience, getting the light, tinkering with it, playing with it was fun. Uh, it runs a ballpoint pen. You can also swap it out for a stylus. Uh, you could swap it out for a bunch of different things. Uh, I think there's like four different, uh, options. There's even like an inkless pen option, which works somehow. And then you got the light, which will give you like the police red and blues. Or it'll give you just the bright flashlight. And the cool thing about this also is the light kind of flips out in a weird, funky, fun way. Kind of like that. So 
it's just a fun light and an awesome addition to the collection. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not joking when I say the unboxing experience with this particular light was phenomenal. Uh, I would recommend it. If you could find this on Amazon, grab it. Uh, it's a real fun, cool light. So there is all of the pen lights. Uh, guys, let me know what you think. This was a fun one to do. Um, I really love the pen lights. Uh, so, uh, yeah, questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, I'll see you in a week or so with another video. Uh, this is Mike from East Coast Lumen Outposts. I'll catch you next time. See you guys.